Hey everyone, Christina Snyder coming at you with a couple of quick tips. Um, so I've been working on a magical musical rhythm thing for my kids. Um, so basically when they, let me go here, when they log in, they'll hit the hat, the hat will play a rhythm. And they have to figure out which rhythm it is. If they get it wrong, they get to try again. But if they get it right, this is what I want you to watch because this is what I'm going to show you. Looks like the bunny's coming out of the hat. So um, when you upload an image, it's a flat image. So trying to get something to like come out of it doesn't really work. Um, so you have to kind of trick the computer into thinking that it can do that. So I'll show you how I did that really quickly. So I have my couple of images here. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it over here onto my background. And then to make it look like something's coming out of it, you have to actually layer a second image on top of it. So let me add one more of those. But this time I'm going to cut half of it off. So I'm going to crop it. Oops. Go to image and then crop. And I'm going to take this top part of it off right here, just below the blue. So it looks like the image, but it's only half of the image. And then I'm going to layer that right on top of it so that it looks like it's still just one image. Now I'm going to take the thing that I want to pop out of it. Um, in this case, I'm going to have myself pop out of it. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to place that on top. I'm going to place it to where I want it to um, look when it's done with the animation. So right now it doesn't look like it's coming out of the hat. But if you change the order of it, it will um, make it look like it's popping out. So there are two ways of doing that. Here's the long way. You're going to right click and then oops, click on me. And then you're going to right click and go to order. And then you can do send backwards. And then it looks like I'm coming out. Um, I'll show you the shortcut to that in a, in a second here. First, let me animate this. So I'm going to act like I'm coming in from the bottom. Go slower. And then I'm going to add one more animation. And I'm going to go fly out to bottom. And when I do this, it's going to look like I'm coming out of the hat now. Oh, maybe not. Oh, let me change one thing. Sorry. Um, I'm going to put it instead of on click, we're going to do after previous. And then same thing with this one. Let's try that again. It looks like I'm coming out and then going back down. And you can change how quickly um, that goes. If you wanted to go a little bit slower, you can move the, those um, sliders right there. Um, now here's the, the shortcut to doing that. So if you click on an image and you do the control up and down arrows, I can't really show you because it's on my keyboard, um, you can change the order of the objects very quickly. This is really, really helpful if you have a ton of objects layered on top of each other and you need something to come to the front or go to the back, but you can't click on it because you have so many images on top of each other, which happens to me all the time. So if you do the control down arrow and the control up arrow, you can move the layering of the objects very easily. So um, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to um, message me or um, you can go to my YouTube. I have a YouTube now, which I never thought I would say, but you can ask me questions off of that too. Have a good day.